Shauna, uh, welcome to Emex London, day two. Um, we're sort of halfway through. What do you make of the show so far? Really, really interesting. Great to see such a turnout, um, so many different types of businesses. Um, I had a chance to go to one of the talks this morning. It was very interesting, so hopefully I'll catch a few more. Well, uh, we're here to talk about energy management in the sort of compressed air field. Yeah. Um, a few questions. Kicking off with um, compressed air systems consume, as I'm sure you know, an average of 10 to 12 percent of an individual facility's electricity, sometimes up to 30 percent. Yet this equi equipment is often overlooked. What, in your opinion, can be done to reduce energy consumption in generating compressed air? Good question. Um, I suppose the first thing we look at is, of all the energy supplied to a compressor, a lot of it isn't used for many different reasons. So I think the first place anyone could start in minimizing the waste is to have an air audit or an air scan. Um, this is something you can do on a visual inspection or you can look into getting a complete air audit. Um, this is something that Atlas Copco offers, so we can do this on a visual inspection or even getting a complete air system. Um, this will allow someone to really hone in on some of the issues. This could be solving leaks in general, uh, reducing pressure drops across the system, or even implementing a variable speed drive where it looks like it requires the process. How big a problem are air leaks? I think leakages are the single biggest waste in an air system. Um, I think this can be seen in some examples recently. We carried out some leak detection at a UK confectionery um, manufacturing facility and we noticed that their leakage is equivalent of £31,000 per annum in electricity costs. Um, we've since rectified those leaks, but it really makes you think what other industries are having similar issues and they go unnoticed. Why should users always use manufacturers' original components? I think it's a really, really great question and it's something in the industry we need to raise awareness of. Um, I think when we go to buy a new compressor, we don't necessarily analyse the one-time cost and its life cycle cost. Um, when you purchase a non-genuine um, part, you're really putting your compressor and your production at risk. This can be seen in higher energy costs, um, pressure drops across the system or even a breakdown. So I think it's important to really look at the whole system before we're putting in different parts. Looking at Atlas Copco, um, what kind of energy efficient products do you offer? I think in our energy efficient range, the biggest one would be the new variable speed drive, the VSD Plus. Um, this is at the forefront of our uh, compressors. Uh, compared to our original VSD, this is showing an additional 15% savings. Um, the way in which the variable speed drive works is that the motor and the element adjust to the air demand really only giving you the air that you need for your process. Um, another offer that we have just come up with is the GHS vacuum pump. This is also a variable speed vacuum and one of its kind, equally showing 50% energy savings in certain applications. And if we push this further into reductions, that 90% of the heat that, an ener an, that a compressor produces, this can be recouped and possibly used in process or things such as hot water or heating in the building. Any other things coming out of Atlas Copco? Um, we have a selection of additional products that will be for around the compressor room. If that is air nets for installations, as we discussed leaks earlier, we also have different types of dryers that will show much better cycle times. And equally, our additional products will have better pressure drops across uh, filters than other ones in the range. Just finally, geographically, whereabouts are you based? In across the country? I mean, are you all over the country? Or? We're, we've got a great presence across the UK. Um, we have 80 service uh, field engineers on the clock all the time. Um, we have our UK headquarters in Hemel Hempstead, and we also have presence in Scotland. Shauna, thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you so Good much for having me. Perfect.